Hey guys, what is going on? And welcome back to episode 3 of my new IGL series. Um, by this point, you should already know how to get a team together, or find a team, and you should already know how to practice maps. So, if you do not know those things, go ahead and check out my videos, and they will be down in the description. In today's episode, um, we're going to be talking about how to get your team running. Um, this mainly is around making, you know, a group for your team and sort of getting yourself situated when you get into the more match environment. So step one is going to be create a group. Now this can mean make a Steam group, make a Sevo team, make a face it group, um, anything along those lines. Uh, they're pretty simple. If you go to your friends list, uh, there will be a tab called groups and you just click that and then It'll take you to your group page, and you can make a group from there. And yeah, Sevo is a little bit harder, but it's pretty simplistic. Once you figure out like what you're going to do, and yeah, okay. So now that that's out of the way, um, step two. Now this is sort of the more important, I guess, but it's sort of more involving in after you get your schedule situated you're going to want to find some way to communicate with your team um, this can mean getting all of their phone numbers and making a group chat this can mean making a kick, kick group um, or just making a, like messaging them on your Steam group um, Anyways, you need a way to like contact them to let them know when practice is going to be, if you cancel practice, if you have a match coming up, things like that. Step three is going to be find management. Now, for me, since my team hasn't really gone anywhere yet, um, we probably won't with we probably won't get anywhere for quite a while because we have to start practicing again and all that stuff, which takes a lot of time. Um, but finding management sort of goes along with making yourselves a way to communicate. Um, your management is going to be the person that recruits your players, that, uh, you know, calls all the times for practices and matches and stuff like that. Um, this person doesn't have to be very important. It could just be your IGL if you just, you know, want to just do it that way. Or you can, you know, get someone specifically for managing a team. Um, a way to do this is going to lead into step four. You can try to join an organization or you can make your own. Uh, making your own, however, will take a lot of time and it's not going to be covered in this video. Um, but joining an organization, I've had many offers from different organizations to join them because I've seen my demos from matches that my team has gone through. Um, but mainly, in order, to, the reason you want to join an organization is they can be your sponsor, so they can sponsor you for events, you know, pay for your entry fees and tournaments and stuff like that. They can. If you're good enough, they can fly you out to specific tournament, land tournaments. Um, and yeah, uh, they're going to have their own management and their own way of running things. But if you're comfortable in that, then do that. Um, I have not joined an organization yet because I don't like the way that they run things. Um, I don't like not being able to control what my teams do. And when you join an organization, that's kind of out the window because you're not in charge, really, of providing players for your team. You're sort of just in charge on leading them. And step number five, uh, keep building and progressing your team. This is going to be mainly the biggest thing on this list. Um... <clears throat> It's sort of covered in the other two videos, but if you actually want to get good at this game, um, you're going to have to go through a lot, you know, practice after practice, mistake after mistake, and you're going to have to 
keep correcting yourself. You're going to have to find new ways to adapt to different situations. And that's just going to come with time. And you can't get frustrated with how much time it takes. It does take quite a while. But in the end, it's beneficial and it'll make you better at the game. And keep building your team. Now, if this... Building your team is sort of a loose term. Um, if you're not very serious about the game to start out and you just want to sort of get the feel for it, you can start your, you know, a team with just five of your friends. And, you know, maybe you have that one friend that's not very good, but you don't care because you're not very serious. Um, but in order to keep building your team, you're going to have to pressure people. If they're not performing, you're going to have to tell them to either step it up or they're getting kicked. Now, this is sort of more on the competitive team side of things. Um, when you're just doing like MM teams, it doesn't really matter because you're always going to have that one guy that carries everyone. But in team situations, you're never going to have one person that carries someone. If you do, then uh, some other of your players are lacking tremendously um and yeah so building your team sort of means like if someone's not performing in the competitive aspect of it you're gonna have to drop them and get a better player and that will make your team better obviously but you're gonna have to do that throughout the sort of lifetime of your team um if you're not very serious about this again don't really worry about what i'm saying right now but Pretty much just keep progressing as a player and just power through all the hard times and all the frustrating times and you will become better. You will get better game sense and you will get better skill. You just got to put enough time into this game to where it'll show. Anyways, sorry for this video being so short. Um, it was kind of simple and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did. Don't forget to leave a like and comment down below if you have any suggestions for more videos for me to do. And if you enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe and come back to the next time I post. So thank you very much and I'll catch you guys in the next video.